In this video, we're going to have a quick look around the Made Me shop manager and dashboard and have a look at how to set up your shop. So the screen we have here is our dashboard. And this shows you your total orders <clears throat> um, as a graph, but also as a pie chart. So the graph on the left hand side shows you your daily sales and the pie chart on the right hand side shows you which products have sold and how many you've sold. So you find that just by hovering the mouse over the different parts of the pie chart. Below those graphs, you have on the left hand side, a list of all of your orders with the order number and the date, what the products were plus the shipping, their total amounts and that they've been paid go down to the bottom view all will take you to a complete list of your orders including customer details on the right hand side this is your recent products that you have added by clicking view all it will take you to the products dashboard you can add a product by clicking products or by add product just below that the products tab takes you to your product dashboard we click on shop manager and it will bring us back to our shop dashboard when you click on orders it will give you a full list of all the orders including the uh, information on customers addresses then you've got ratings this is the feedback that your customers leave for you then we have coupons this is where you can set up discount codes. You can edit them from here. You can delete them if you want to or add a new coupon. I'll show that in another video. Today we're going to look at settings. So we're going to start with shop settings. So in shop settings, this is where you're going to set up your store information. So your shop title. So you must have a shop title and it needs to be unique. A short description on your shop. So for example, we sell mostly patterns um, and yarn supplies. And then seller information. So this is where you put a bit of information about yourself. Helen and I are a team. So we've got information that pertains to both of us in the seller info. If you make sure the shop name is in the store description and seller info, this means that people should be able to search for your shop through the maker directory. Obviously we're in the UK and that is my registered business address. Um, some of you will put your home addresses in there. You can enable vacation mode. So if you know you're going away for a few days, Enable the vacation mode, holiday mode, um, so that people know that you are away. And then you can enable store notice as well. So at the moment, we just say where our products are shipping from. But you could put in here about any special offers that you've got or a particular product that you want people to see. We go back up and the next tab is payment. This is where you will set up and connect your Stripe payment so once you've signed up to stripe go back into your made me shop here it will say um, on your first viewing it will say click here to connect your stripe account as you can see ours is already connected you've got to connect your stripe account before you can add products to your shop now if you're not a registered business that's okay set up as an individual or a sole trader within the stripe um setting up your account in stripe for the when it asks you for a web address if you view store and then highlight and copy and paste your url so you see it's highlighted blue that's the url address you can use that as your website when you're setting up stripe when you've done that obviously save changes now we're going to go to shipping settings this is where you can set up default shipping or postage basically um, if you forget to add shipping to one of your products it's okay if you've set up default shipping because the when it goes to checkout 
if there is no shipping information in the product listing, it will automatically add on your default shipping. So choose a default amount. Ours is £3.50. That's usually a good price, uh, both for Royal Mail and some other carriers. Don't set the minimum shipping fee. Um, otherwise, it will default to that and override anything that you put in your individual listings. We found that out the hard way. So leave that one blank. We have opted to have a maximum shipping amount as well, uh, based on quantities. Um, so we know that our maximum shipping price is around £9.50. We don't tend to send out anything that's more than a couple of kilos anyway. Um, but it's a good idea to have that set uh, because it may try and charge more than once. If people are buying a multiple uh, multiple items from your shop, it may try and add on multiple amounts of shipping. So if you put a maximum shipping amount in there, then um, it will get to that amount and then just stop there. We also do free shipping on orders over £30. So we've got that set in there. For some products, um, we might do free national shipping. We haven't selected it in the default. Otherwise, all of our products would end up with free shipping. Um, and we've selected to charge once for the product rather than multiple times. Um, so if people are buying three of the same thing, they're not going to get charged three lots of shipping for that. So we've got that selected there. And obviously, we don't want to disable national shipping for the UK. On the other side is all the international shipping information. So you could set the same up there if you're shipping internationally. Helen and I have chosen not to. So we've actually selected disable international shipping at the bottom. The only thing that we do have available worldwide is our patterns because we send that out via email. You can also select where you're shipping from. So we've got it selected as store address. If you click on that bar, you'll get the opportunity to put in a different address and then click save changes. Go back to settings. Just wait for it to load. And we're now going to edit your profile settings. So this is the page that people see in the maker directory. Give yourself a lovely cover photo. Um, we've used our branding. We've actually combined the Rainbow Valley and the Unravel and Unwind branding together for ours. You've got one there for your profile picture. Um, cover photos. It's a really nice idea to have one that relates to your products. This is where your social media links go. So if you're on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, they'll show up there. It shows you your followers and who you're following. The big purple bar leads people to your shop. Um, and then you've got another about section. So again, we've described a little bit about what Envis and Carriad is. Helena, tell me off, I pronounced that wrong. Envis and Carriad. Um, I've also got a video link for one of the YouTube videos that I've made so people can view um, my channel of Unra Unravel and Unwind and if you set your location up that shows on the map below as well. Scrolling down we have our craft types so there's a variety of different um, topics uh, and, and words to describe your different products so it's a good idea to go through the list and select all that apply to the items that you are selling. As you can see, I'm trying out a few extra words there to see whether or not um, other craft types have been added. It's worth going back and checking this on a regular basis, by the way, because Made Me are always adding new categories and new craft types and new material types. These will also help people to find you. So in the search bars, they might be using some of these words and if you've got them set up in here it gives them it, it means that you will appear in their searches below that is the google analytics tracking id number now that's unique to um, each of you i'll show you how we set up google analytics another day and then below that this is where we add in our social media links so because we're a combined business on here 
I've used Rainbow Valley's Facebook page link and Unravel and Unwind's Instagram link. Then update the profile to save it. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. You can also join us on Patreon at Unravel and Unwind and the link will be in the description below.